My boy Song Yedong just taught me that right hand. It's People in the UFC are discovering the Sanda long hook. Let's go ahead and break it down. All right, so the punch basically is uh, something that you'll, you'll st you can still find it in regular boxing. Uh, a lot of people are actually trying to really get a good turn on their on their jab or in their straight punches. They're really trying to get so even the thumb starts going down. This is basically what that is. Okay, in Sanda we call it a long hook. At least uh, when I was in the Beijing Sports University, more of this long hook thing. So say like if my partner go through a cross to my face you're still going to slip it right but instead of parrying or anything else you're going to throw your punch thumb down right so your head's going to be nice out of the way and then they're going to take everything to their face okay so good you can do it against the jab here also it comes in like this okay so again still slip so you see how your thumb goes down it still kind of finds its way to get into that slot to go through the jab again just like this okay okay also you can maybe even try to do it against a hook you can still kind of start you can start kind of um, uh, rolling underneath but you can still then kind of bring this over kind of the same idea with the other side you start rolling underneath but then you can still bring it over to hit the the temple but quite often like how you've seen in the ufc matches it's usually against some kind of straight so just like the, the jab boom cross okay so uh that's why you kind of see even uriah faber or even the uh xiaonan or or yadong they uh they almost even kind of put their head down right and then kind of throw it like that so i still say still try to keep looking towards your target so you can smartly counter because what if they don't what if they don't drop right like these other people have been successful in their ufc matches but you don't know if you're going up against someone who can take a lot of hits to your head. So still keep an eye on them so you can follow up right, with your combos or your kicks or your takedowns. Okay, because all that's part of Sanda and it's also part of MMA. That's why Sanda is one of the best base styles for MMA. So if you want to find out more, check out our playlists.